I'm Chad Mills in Sarasota County, where we continue to see the emotional toll of historic flooding. Help is now here, but some families aren't sure it's enough help to replace everything they lost. On this Sunday, the pews of Sarasota Christian Church are filled with people, but they're not here for a church service. They're here for help. It was traumatizing, very traumatizing. People like Cassandra Smith and her husband Anthony lost nearly everything they own a week ago as historic rainfall during Debbie caused flooding across Manatee and Sarasota counties. I've never seen it that extent. They lost most of their belongings and so did their kids, ages 12, 8, and one. We have nowhere to live now, so we're pretty much homeless with three kids. Sunday afternoon, they did get some help at the Resource Center in Sarasota County, which is now up and running, helping the families who have nowhere else to turn. An alphabet soup of agencies and nonprofits are all here. And these are things to really just help the community members get back up on their feet um, after the impacts we saw from Hurricane Debbie, um, both short and long term. And over the next week, Kale Washko with Sarasota County hopes everyone impacted by the storm in his county will stop by. Even if you need a case of water, even if you need someone to talk to, you know, we are here to help. The Smiths stopped by the Resource Center and applied for FEMA assistance. Still, they can't yet see how they'll make it all work. I'm hopeful for the future, but the process is hard. As mentioned, that resource center is at Sarasota Christian Church, and it'll be open through at least Friday. We put the address and the hours on our website, abcactionnews.com. In Sarasota County, Chad Mills, ABC Action News.